Sam Ferrugia and welcome. So today is going to be a quick one, an easy one, and one that sounds great. So what you heard me play at the start of this video is a Dave Weckl lick. Now this lick is played in a drum solo in a track called Camerica and uh, it comes from an album by Steve Kahn called Public Access and it's a really great album. It's probably released about 1989, um, thereabouts. I think it was recorded in January of 89. Anyway, it's a sort of fairly youngish Dave Weckl, you know, he was still in his 20s and uh, he was still playing the 8 and 10 configuration. And this is one of those solos where he uses a lot of repetition in the solos, sort of a la Steve Gadd, a la Philly Joe Jones, a la Max Roach. One day I'll do a, a video on repetition in solos and, and maybe use those aforementioned drummers as an example of how this actually works. But anyway, getting back to this lick, this lick is really simple and it's basically two beats long. So it's basically two beats of 16th notes or eight 16th notes. So let me break this down beat by beat. The first beat or the first four 16th notes is based on an inward paradiddle, I guess. It's right, left, left, right. The first right hand is played on the floor tom, the two lefts are ghosted on the uh, snare drum and then the next right hand is also played on the snare drum as an accent and if you want you can play this as a rim shot as I did at the start of this video. So let me just play the first four sixteenth notes, here we go, one, two, three, four. They're the first four sixteenth notes. The next four sixteenth notes is left, right, left, kick. The first left is played on the high tom. The next right, left are played on the floor tom. And then we finish off with a kick at the end of that. So the second four sixteenth notes. One, two, one, two. So I'm going to put those two beats together and we get this really great lick. I'm going to play this slowly. Am I talking fast? I've had three coffees today. Um, I'll try and slow down a bit. So anyway, I'm going to put these two beats together and I'll play it slowly so that you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. One, two, one, two. That's the pattern, that's the lick. Um, you can orchestrate this any way you want. I mean, this is sort of just generally how I orchestrate it, but if you've got other drums and you want to try orchestrating it at different ways, by all means. So I wanted to take this lick that's a contemporary lick, I guess, played on a, a contemporary sounding set of drums, but I just wanted to get an idea of how it would sound on a very open bebop sounding kit. And for those of you who are interested, this is a 1950s round badge Gretsch, which, um, I really like. Anyway, let me just play that again in context for you. One, a two, a one, two, three, four.
so there you go there's another lick that you can have a bit of fun with like I said I wanted to hear it on this type of kit but you know if you've got an old sort of rock kit a thuddy sounding kit try it on that too it's it's a lick that maybe is adaptable to different styles and different sounding drum kits so um you know be, be experimental have fun with it make it your own it's a simple lick um anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it the thumbs up if you haven't done so already subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when i've uploaded a video which is every week so until next week have a great week and I shall see you all soon. Bye.